Hello, hello, hello. Howdy, Rue. Thank you for the resub, dude. Oh, I'm dying. Where do you want votes, Rue? Um, Mass Effect? Something different? Scooby? Scooby Dooby Doo? Scooby? Scooby Dee Doo? Pup name Scooby Doo? Okay, uh, Scooby. Scooby. Um, Scooby, Scooby, Scooby. Okay, not the spooky swamp. You weren't doing that one. It was... Uh, not spooky swamp. That's the wrong thingy. Night, uh, first rights. That's the one. And I'm on the wrong thingy. That's not gonna work. Scooby, Knight of 100 Brights. Nope, not Knight of 100 Brights. Hold on. I already did Knight of 100 Brights. First Brights. I think I did that twice. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Did I stop for anyone else? It's fucking Twitch, dude. I know you can't hear me. It's Twitch. Uh. It's every night any more sad face. Um, it should be back momentarily, hopefully. Or I guess we'll see, but it should be. That's how it normally works out. Uh, I know Twitch probably can't hear me, but yes, camera's off at the moment. Um, it'll be back on in like a second. That's the wrong thingy. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. <laughs> now it's back on. And is Twitch coming back? I think it's coming back. There we go. And Twitch is back online. It's a Twitch thing. It's like every night, dude, is terrible. I don't know. I don't know. Work sucks right now. What's going on at work, dude? Kitty's not making sound still, but the vet didn't find anything with dehydration, so I'm waiting watching closer still oh hopefully it's like i don't know maybe she's just uh, or he maybe kitty is just you know different see the flashing at the bottom of the screen yes that is just this game <laughs> on the ps5 i don't know if it's normal for everyone that plays this game but like oh there's an auto save oh that's probably from sleeping Anyways, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's gone now, the the flashing at the bottom of the screen. I don't know. That just happens randomly while playing the game. It's weird. I don't know. Anyways, last time we tried to play, there was a power outage, and uh, the game got, like, shut off. So we have to redo the beginning of the second day, and it's only the second freaking day, <laughs> even though we were meant to have played a few hours this by now. But, you know, it is what it is, so it's fine. Uh, so we did all this last time. And this part here, he's just explaining to us, like, how to farm. Um, and telling us that we need to water our crops for them to grow. It takes a few days, you can push it in the shipping bin. Like, you know, if you've ever played a Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley game, then, like, yeah. Tomorrow he'll teach us to use stones and logs and things. Thanks for that, uh, Mr. Mayor, sir. I forget what your name is. Victor? I think it's Victor. Anyways, uh, yes. Can sidestep holding L1R1? Cool, cool, cool. Just means Rue didn't miss much from being gone. Uh, I mean, it wasn't really like... Yeah, <laughs> you really didn't miss much at all, man. Because we were also gone. Um, okay, I think... We should probably ship some of the stuff. What I really want is a chest, but I don't see like a way to make a chest though. So I don't really know what to do with that. We can put away some of these tools for now. Like we probably don't need any of this stuff at the moment or the camera. And then right now we just kind of need a la hoe and the watering can. 
and then we'll take our seeds and put up here too. Something like that. That should be good. And then, yeah, okay, so we were gonna put our well. Actually, we need the well too. We were gonna put the well, like, right here, I think, is what I had decided last time. Something like that. And then we were just gonna start farming next to it here, I think, is what we were doing. Maybe we'll leave a space of one away from the well. That seems decent to me. Something like this. And then is there, like, can we... Do like the whole hold square thing to spread more? No, okay. That's a thing in at least some of the Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons games, so I was hoping it would be here too, but but no luck, that's fine. And then we still need to figure out how, what to do with the tree. That's when it died on us last time, is whenever we were trying to figure out like where we wanted to put the tree and how exactly trees work in this game. I don't know. I'm assuming it's kind of like most of the other ones where you have to leave a gap around it. Like at least a one tile gap. But I'm wondering like maybe we should have like just trees in general like up here or something, you know? Okay, so we can't put them right up against the wall. We can apparently put it here. Does it say anything if we highlight it? Proper carrot will grow tiny plump cherries 15 days after planting. The cherries will regrow after harvesting. Doesn't say anything, so let's just put it here and see what happens, dude. Do we need to water it? It doesn't look like it. I think it just does its thing. Okay. That's fine. Let's collect... What did we need, exactly? Because we needed... Like, stone... Or logs, or something specifically... To get this chicken coop up and running here. I just don't remember what it was that we needed more of. But if we go to it, I think it tells us, right? That was the wrong button. Oh, I also, I just realized that, like, we didn't get any hearts back? Or did we get a bunch of hearts back and we just went through them all already? That's probably more accurate. Um, but we need stone specifically. So let's try... Oh, there's a chicken! Hi, chicken! Can we love you? Tame. No place to- oh. Well, okay. So that's cool. Can you just get, like, free animals from the wild, though? Like, at least, you know, the ones that you can raise, like chickens and stuff? I'm a little tired. Me too. Get over it. I can't actually see, like, what's going on. Some of these trees are a bit in the way, but I really want to get all the stone to repair this thing. Is that enough? 27. That should be enough. So now if we repair... Repair. I wasn't ready for this. What do we... <laughs> what do we name our coop? Um... The chicken house. The chicken space. Uh oh. Uh, no, rethink it. <laughs> Shit. I didn't mean to click done. Chicken. How do you space triangle? That's two spaces. Never mind. How do you? There we go. House. H a u u s is the chicken house. <laughs> Confirm. Chickens can be raising coops by giving them fodder or letting them graze outside. They'll lay eggs in the coop for you to gather the next day. Okay, now you. Tame. In order to take care of this animal, you'll have to bring it to the proper facility. Move to a facility? Yes. To the chicken house. Tame. Nugget. Confirm. So do we just get a chicken just like that? Cool. If you ring the bell in front of a barn or coop, the animal will go out to pasture. If you leave them out, they'll happily eat the grass on the farm and enjoy the fresh air. That's good, because we don't have, like, any food. Now, did it, like, automatically... 
Keep the fodder from the bins every day. We fed will produce pride products the next day. Okay, so you did, like, go inside. It's a pet. Can we... Is this how we, like, sell them and stuff? Maybe we... Do we just move them from there? I don't have any fodder. Put out the pasture. What was the clear away? Ungrouped all items in this facility that you will be dropped. Oh, so you can like move the move the things. Okay. Hopefully, like since it's outside, it'll eat and be merry on its own. Let's clear away all the rocks up here too. Oh, these rocks are like hard rocks. Okay, we get iron. Do we always get iron, or is it like a luck thing? Maybe we always get it. We're quickly running out of stamina. I wonder, can we like, I'm assuming if we eat food, we'll get more stamina, right? So like if I eat a wild berry, we get a tiny bit. Wild bear really wasn't worth it. We do have the turnip. I was going to give it to somebody, I think, is why I kept it. Oregano. Should we just sell everything? I feel like I might pass out. You're fine. Get over it. Okay. So we got all that. I feel like we should keep the iron ore, but... I don't know what to do with it exactly. Then sell the oregano and the onion. I'm gonna keep the turnip because I want to give it to somebody. Keep the other stuff. We'll ship. Can we like send one iron ore just in case like that's a thing? You know, like maybe it unlocks something or something. I don't know, man. Okay, let's let's go back into town. Because there should be, like, a shop in town or something somewhere. Hoof House Animal Shop. Closed on Tuesday. So not today, but, like, everywhere is closed tomorrow. A lot of places are closed tomorrow. This looks like a general store. There's got to be... I know there's a bar and grill or something around here somewhere. A bistro. 12 to 10 every day. That sounds like a place to get food. A bistro? Hungry or low on stamina? Why not have a meal at the bistro? Misaki's comforting entrees will greatly replenish your stamina. Then get back to work feeling refreshed. Cool. Sorry, I'm being thirsty. Um, so yeah, no, we definitely want you, but have we talked to you before? Blair, you're not from around here, right? Are you a tourist? Your stream? Aha, the mayor was going on and on about someone coming to take over the farm. I'm Blair. I work at the bistro. Nice to meet you. Okay, and then you must be Masaki, maybe? Curdy, you moved to the town recently, right? The mayor, Victor, announced the news to everyone. I'm Masaki. I run the bistro. Do drop by sometime. It'd be my pleasure to serve you. How many more people do we need to meet? We have to be getting close to the full list, right? Again, I don't know if this counts DLC characters, though. Holy hell, there's just so many people. Okay. Um, out of who we found, who do we want to try to woo at the moment? Isaki wasn't a contender, right? Not a bachelorette? No. Because otherwise, I'd be going for her, man. Running the bistro, make me a good, a good meal. Like, come on, dude. Is there a way to tell from here if they're a thing or not? No. Jack, Damon, Emilio, Lori. Okay, there's Bridget. Mm. I think right now it's got to be either Bridget or Blair. Mikey's older sister works as a waitress, and Blair's right here. So, Blair, how do you feel about turnips? Mm -hmm. 
Huh? A present for me? I mean, she got the thingies over her head. I'm assuming that means she likes it. Have meal. Um, salad? Salad made with plenty of potatoes. Is there anything that tells us, like, how much it refills our stamina or anything? I mean, it's what, like, two, three o'clock? So we should probably be eating some kind of, like, actual food food. I mean, I'm a big fan of soup, man. A soup made by boiling potatoes with milk. Sure. Let's order that. I think that's it. So, like, up there in the corner, see, it didn't really refill our stamina at all. It did that last time we bought food, too. It turned yellow, but it didn't actually refill anything. So I'm like, I'm confused. Hello, have we talked to you before? Yes. Eh, whatever. Not really a fan of you. But just talking to people seems to give us likeness with them. I mean, they get the thingy over the head. This is the other shop, right? Yeah, hotel and cafe. We'll buy something from you too, why not? Um, mix soup. We eat a vegetable sandwich or pizza. Just eat a whole pizza. Vegetable sandwich, it's cheaper. Now, is that gonna do the same thing though, where it just like doesn't refill? Okay. Oh. I'm assuming that symbol means that we're, like, very full? Is there a way that we can see, like, our status? There doesn't seem to be. Now, does this just show people that we've met, or does it show everybody? I don't know. Oh. Uh, hello, I'm called Love It. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles on my discoveries. So you let me know if you happen upon any Olive Town delicacies. Okay. Aren't you stream? Ain't you stream? I heard about you from Victor. I'm Simon. My daughter took over the general store from me, though I still help her out. Help pioneer this land with your grandfather, you know? Those were the days. Oh my. Um. Okay. I mean, I have to assume that symbol means we're like over full. And if we kept eating, things would get worse for us. So we probably shouldn't eat any more food, but we did get a good amount of stamina back. What do you do? You're like the help center or something, right? Can we do anything here? No. <gasps> Wait, there's the board in town here somewhere. And we got a picture to give to the museum. It's the flower shop. I don't know where anything is, dude. Okay, not you. Have we talked to you people before? There's so many people. Yeah, we've talked to you. Hello, you. Huh? Town looks like got it all, but really it's kind of podunk. If you ask me, that's kind of rude. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. I appreciate it. You, hello. Beth. You're an archaeology enthusiast. Uh, feel free, buy treasure rack, replica, animal statue. No, it's not that I want to buy any of that stuff. Oh. I want to, like, donate something. Do we need to talk Hello. to one of you people? Donate photo. Orange fox. Donate. Oh, we gotta put it down? It's the first one we donated. Just put it right in the middle. Thank you for your generous donation. We'll use this photo as a reference to craft a new sculpture. Oh, okay. Oh. You're the one we talk to if we find, like, rare artifacts or whatever. Okay. And you're also a bachelorette. Kind of laid back the town is, but we could do with a few more tourists. Okay. So there's also Reina. Kind of watching TikToks with a stream die. Did you say anything about your face not being here? It's here now, isn't it? Oh, shit. No, it's not. My bad. There you go. 
I forgot to, like, I turned it on, my camera on, I just forgot to enable it on stream, so, <laughs> my bad. I guess we can, like, go fish for a little bit, or we should probably go to, like, the general store if it's not closed. It's probably going to be closed, though, by the time we find it, because I don't know where anything is here. And then, like, buy some seeds. Because, like, you know, is seed time? We can grow stuff and things? Who are you? Handiworks. Are you animal shop? You're open until six. Huh? Pet counter, buy pet. Okay, we need to have a log cabin first, that's fine. But you should sell like actual chickens, right? Yeah, 2,000 gold a piece. I mean, that doesn't seem bad, but let's see how much seeds are first. General store. Hey, good, you're open. Um, bum 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 bum. Hello. Uh, town gets busier, we'll get more customers. <laughs> Excuse me. Buy goods? Hey, there we go. Okay, so we got turnip seeds already. So we should try to get like some potato and stuff. We start with a good amount of money, but some of this stuff is expensive. We should probably start with the things that regrow. Spring, summer, and autumn. With proper care, they'll grow into delicious full quality tea leaves in 12 days after planting. So that's going to take a little while to have a return on investment, but should be good in the long run. I've been here. I just forgot to turn the camera on. Beans as well. Uh, with proper care, they'll grow into fresh fodder, regrow, and produce up to six yields. rice. There's like just so many options to start off with, man. It's wild. Um, okay. So we just start with the basic crops maybe and fodder is good for future animals, but since this is like the first real day that we're playing, I feel like we need some relatively quick turnaround sort of stuff to start getting our money going, you know? Because if we buy a bunch of fodder, then we don't make any money off the fodder. If we buy like a bunch of the seeds that we don't get any money on for two weeks, then we're broke for the next two weeks, right? So that's why I'm wondering, should we just start with like these basic seeds and then move on from there? Cucumbers can only be grown in spring. So let's grow, let's get nine cucumbers. Ah, okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, nine cucumbers. Because those, like, only grow in spring. Everything else have multiple seasons that they can grow in. So each fodder produces six. So just, even if we just got a couple of these, that would be good. Spring, summer, autumn, spring, summer, autumn, spring, summer, autumn. 14 days, 12 days. Coffee. I really want to buy, like... <laughs> but I don't know, like, if buying more trees for that whole, like, that same reason of they take forever to have a return on investment, so I, I think maybe we should wait on those. Let's get some potatoes. Let's just do some of the basic stuff. So potatoes, nine of those, buy, and then getting at least, like, a few fodder would be nice. How much? Onions are expensive. Let's go ahead and get nine radishes as well. And then we'll spend our last 300 on getting some fodder for current chicken and future chickens. And then, do we have enough energy to plan all that tonight? 
I want to like fish and explore the wild and stuff some, but I feel like it's necessary to get right into the farming mechanics. So we can just like move this stuff out of the way. Okay. And then seed. Seed. We shouldn't need the hammer right now. But we will need a la ho and the watering can. I have no idea if like trellises and things are a thing in this game or not. If that's something we need to be wary of. Or if we can just like ignore it. This is using up a lot of energy. We need at least two more plots. We're gonna have to sickle some things. Guess we'll see... I don't know, man. We got something just popped up. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm just going, going at it with a scythe when there's absolutely nothing around. GG me. Okay. So cucumbers... Let's put the cucumbers up here. Does it take stamina to sow seeds? Doesn't look like it, thankfully. Just the watering part would. And then, sure, potatoes can go here. Hopefully we don't have to worry about, like, anything getting into our crops. I don't imagine that'll be a thing, but you never freaking know. And then we should probably just plant our fodder like over near the coop somewhere okay watering definitely takes up stamina which is to be expected so far there's nothing like super surprising about the game outside of the fact that we're able to tame wild chickens and things <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's just like the one chicken it was just a special case but it's super cute. Yeah, I thought so too whenever I was watching the trailer for the game because like I was trying to decide which Story of Seasons game I wanted to play because there's the the remake of my favorite one from childhood was an option of course There's uh, a wonderful life, which is another remake of one that honestly I didn't care for that much when I was younger, but still uh, There's pioneers of olive town then there's a Doraemon one which I was always very like mm, about, but after watching some reviews on it, it seems like it might not actually. Well, I know it's not a good time to call my animals out to pasture. Does that mean they just went away on their own or went in here on their own? Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Um. But anyways, and but after looking into it, specifically what did it for me with this one was that I saw that you can. I'm really mad that this tree's here, because I kind of want to plant it there, but I guess I'm putting the fodder here. Um, anyways, I saw that you can donate stuff to a museum. There's the museum to, to fill out. And when I saw that, I was just like, okay, this is this is the one I want to play, because I love that about, like, uh, Animal Crossing and stuff. And so I was like, that's, that's excellent, let's do that. Uh, that can stay there, I think. You can go here, I guess. I really wish you could use tools from the freaking tool bag, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine different tools. And only eight slots. <laughs> per, per, like, hotbar. That's annoying, too. Uh, but whatever. I just want to fish a little bit. Since we have a little bit of stamina left, and it's not quite, like, late, late. Quite. It's, it's, it's definitely getting there, but... Okay. Oh, that's right. We only want to really reel in when it's blue. 
White is okay if you have like a bunch of extra durability, but otherwise just reel in when it's blue. I'm glad they put a mini game to the fishing here. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about it is that time doesn't pause when we're doing it. I would I would really like it if it did, but come on, get the fish. It's so close, dude. There we go. A sparkling fish. It's got one level of quality. A rare fish that glimmers like a gem. It'll ship for a high price. We can't eat it. Of course, that's my, my like, first thing is can, can we eat the fish? But I guess not. I don't care if it's a rare fish. I just want to know if I can eat the thing, dude. Is it, like, hard like a gemstone? Is that why we can't eat it? A sardine! Because we can eat, we can eat normal fish like sardines, right? No, I guess not. Um, okay, let's go to bed before it gets too late. We got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. And the mayor is supposed to be teaching us some more stuff tomorrow anyways, so. Um, sure, sleep. We'll figure out if it's raining or not tomorrow. <laughs> I was gonna check the weather real quick, but I mean like, once we woke up, woke up, once we wake up, we'll know if it's raining or not anyway, so. Oh, I forgot. General store has expanded its lineup? Oh. I mean, I know that's a thing, but... Like, we had shipped onion before, so is it from the oregano and the iron ore? Top of the morning to you. I hope you're ready for another lesson. Today, I thought I'd, it'd be wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. Fortunately, I'm not what you'd call a specialist, so I've enlisted the help of Nidor, a local carpenter. Good morning, stream. My specialty is housing and furniture, you see. But I know enough about material to teach you a thing or two. Have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful things with them. You could turn them into a fence for livestock, for one thing. If you're going to run a farm, I'd say that's a pretty good use, eh? Naturally, you'll figure out other ways to utilize your materials as you go about developing your farm and such. Make items from the crafting menu. Kind of figured that out already. I just want to teach you about makers while I'm here. See, makers can process raw materials into entirely new things. You're useful tools, makers. Once you get your hands on them, I'm um, sure you'll figure out even better things to craft. One thing to keep in mind when using a maker, though, they'll take time to process your materials. Yeah. That's kind of to be expected. Uh, how you use your knowledge? That, of course, will be entirely up to new. Heading home until tomorrow. Okay. Well, goodbye, Nigel and uh, Victor. The chat camera? With the chat camera enabled, you can interact with locals in a brand new way. Simply speak with them and see for yourself. You can change ca chat camera settings at any time from the option menu. I think I have that enabled already. Interestingly, we didn't get a full refill of our stamina. And it does seem like we can walk through trellises in this game, which is very, very handy. It's already after 7. Is that like... Did we go to bed late? Is that why it's after 7 o'clock? Or... Is it based off of like how much stamina we have? The hand that waters. We do keep leveling up skills. I'm not really sure what it's doing for us though. I don't know. Let's just finish watering our stuff here. And then we'll let our chicken out. Hopefully, since it's like an adult chicken, it'll start producing eggs for us real early. Fledgling Harvester. Let's go, dude. Fieldwork level up. Do they not expect you to do like this much fieldwork early on, or does it go above 10 levels? I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like it would only go up to 10. I guess maybe just because of too much time playing. There you go, Nugget. Is there an egg? We got an egg! Fuck yeah, dude. Sick, okay. Now, can we harvest any of this stuff? Harvest that. Moon drop flower. Is this more oregano? This is growing nicely. You definitely don't want to smash. Don't smash the plants. Um... Ooh. Are you... 
disappear the next day. Okay, so we have one day to pick stuff up. Well, we don't need this anymore. We shouldn't need the hoe. We might need the other various tools. Pick up. Pick up. I do like that it seems like you can only eat so much in a day. What is this? Ooh, clams. Never heard of a blood clam before. But whatever. Uh, ominous sounding shellfish gets its name from the red liquid it produces. Yummy? I guess? I don't know. How much money do we have? 401 gold. Not a ton. Let's ship all... Okay, the fish. That's since we forgot. How much are they worth? 550 for that one. That's not bad. Uh, sure. I don't think we have any use for the oregano right now. Moondrop flower I could see being a liked gift. And I think we've shipped one before. Let's go ahead and ship the clams. So I'm going to keep the moondrop flower out. Because we'll give that to somebody. Is this a daily gifting game? Or is this a weekly gifting? Looks like daily, because Blair doesn't have a thingy by her name. But I'm also a big fan of... Oh, oh, that's right, they're closed on Tuesdays. So they could be, like, anywhere. Are you just chilling in here somewhere? Do you live here? I don't remember your name, but... The girl that works here was the other, like, top contender for me. You're gonna be, like, over here in the field somewhere? No. You're close today, too, right? Yeah. It's weird that, like, I know <laughs> these are also people's homes, but it's weird that they're unlocked and there's just nobody here. That it's completely empty. Oh, there's somebody. And I think that was Jack, maybe? You, hello. Hi. Unlike how they're all counting on us, that's kind of a lot of pressure. I'm not sure I can handle it. Yo. Um. I too love the sound of it. There's Blair! Well, I wasn't going to give right. the Moondrop flower to Blair. I was going to give it to mm -mm. the other one today. But since I can't find the other one, here you go, Blair. <laughs> Do you love me yet? No. Boo for her being in? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the other girl? Yeah. <clears throat> There's the bistro again. I'm still super confused how food works in this game. Wait, are they closed today too? Or they might just not be open yet. Actually, now that I think about it, they're probably not open till like 12, yeah. What is this? Oh, grocery store. Do you sell like... Norma sells various cooking ingredients. Changes each season, check back often. Do you sell, like, seeds and stuff, too, or just our faces are inside each other? <laughs> okay, what what exactly do you sell? God, onions are expensive, huh? So you literally just sell food. That's fine. I forgot about the freaking community board when I was up at the museum yesterday. That's annoying. Oh, hi, it's you again. Mm, we've already talked to you. Hello. Ah. Angela. And this person. Uh. Patricia. We keep getting more, like, things. Field work. Paintable traits. Slight boost to quality of field crops. Field work consumes less energy. That's handy. Recipes, okay. Slight boost to mining ability, cool. So we can make small fish bait and squid bait. And then orcharding. Yeah, it does seem like it tops out at 10. Maybe the first couple of levels are just super quick. Slight boost to friendship growth, that's nice. Jewelry locket, I don't know. I'm guessing that's just like a gift to give to people. They'll like it or something. Here she is! You're the other one, Bridget. 
Do I have- do you like grass? <laughs> do you like iron ore? I have nothing to give you, I'm sorry, Bridget. I would, but yeah. Bulletin board, request list. Moondrop flower, we literally just gave one away. Well, if we find another moondrop flower, we'll we'll bring it here and throw it in at the thing at the person. Literally throw it at the person. This is a good camera right here. Look at this camera. Did we not enable that in the options? The chat camera? We did not. Okay, turn that on. No, cancel. Reflect changes. There we go. Okay. Huh. It's like today really get my wonder lust revved up. Okay. No. So it only seems to change things for for what you call it for the the bachelors and bachelorettes, which is fine. It's sure to be well received. Okay, so those gifts literally are just like people like these things. This liked are listed by people that like us most? Maybe. We need our camera in case we come across wild animals. We probably won't need any of this stuff for now. How deep does this like forest go? Not very at all, huh? Is this literally it? The town's gotta be bigger than this. I mean, I know there's like the bridge that needs fixed eventually or whatever. So like, there's that still. Ah, there's also a path there that needs to be unlocked. Okay, yeah. So it definitely gets bigger. This is like the stuck up people's houses or house. I'm sure they're good people. They're just too formal for me, man. I don't, I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. Can we, can we fish here? I'm assuming the, ooh, the more exclamation marks there are, the better the fish. So like that time we had two exclamation marks. The same as whenever we got the, the shiny fish. But whenever we got the, the sardine or anchovy or whatever it was, it only had one. Sparkling fish, that's what it is. So wait, is there any difference in the different bodies of water, or can you catch the same fish everywhere? Oh, you look like a big dude. A yellow perch. A two-star yellow perch. <laughs> Is this eating up stamina? I mean, maybe we should be like focusing on farm work right now instead of focusing on getting money, but I don't know. One, I like fishing, and two, early game money just sounds like a good idea. We can get more like crops, figure out what we like, what we don't like, whatever. Another sparkling fish. I'm a little tired. Hush, you, you're fine. Okay, we, we actually need to, like, be smart about how we reel in now. Our line's about to break. Another yellow perch. How many fishies do we have? Four? Um, let's go... I don't know, get some food maybe or something? Talk to more people if we see more people? I want to, like, give fish to people, but I don't know what anyone likes. Oh, you're a tourist? We get, like, just normal tourists in town? What is this? Is this the flower shop? Do you actually, like, sell anything? Make bouquet, make perfume. Oh, there's, like, actual flower seeds. Baby blue and the red tulips. These are all spring ones. And pansy seeds. Mm, I mean, flowers might be good to give to people. 
how much would nine of these cost us? We can only buy five. Nine times five, that'd be what, 450? So we couldn't buy a full set of any of them. Hmm. Which bugs me. If a flower whose color is reminiscent of a clear blue sky. Round red flower with familiar closed up blossom. Wonder. Hold on. Go to the bouquet thing again. Oh, so you had to provide like specific materials. Then you can make a bouquet. Its invigorating fragrance warms the heart like a vernal wind. I just realized he only sells three types of flowers, but you need four different ones to make that bouquet. Hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming that's just like an even better gift that you can give people. Yeah. Who are you? Are we talking Hello. before? Enchante, I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town too. Funny enough, we should help each other. Okay. Ah. Push one made it through this day. Never mind, I guess it isn't only bachelors and bachelorettes that get this fancy camera. Wait, are you closed on Tuesdays? Aw, oh, you are closed on Tuesdays, you bastard. Well, that's fine. Can we take the boat? Because, like, I know we're supposed to be able to go to the DLC area or whatever. I don't know if it's right away, though, or if we need to, like, unlock it first. What's on this dock? Anything? Oh, that's right. You're the town fisherman. I remember you. Hi, Jack. Know how trees only grow fruit in specific season? If you know which fruit grows when, you could probably plant tea ahead, right? <laughs> he makes puns. I like Jack. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible puns, but he makes puns nonetheless. Uh, we don't really need food. It's fine. Who needs to eat anyways? Sell the crap that we've collected. And then clear up the farm a little bit, maybe. Bro, look at that money just rolling in. How? What do we need to make these things? Ten logs, ten iron. Okay, we can probably get that. Oh, hi. More wild berries. And oregano. Uh, put that away. Put that away. Move these just out of the way, I guess. And then... So we can see how much of the different materials we have that we're actually like collecting without moving our inventory around. There. That should give us all the iron ore we need to make the thingy. Now we needed, was it 10 logs? I think it was 10 logs. Let's clear over here first. Oh, animal. I want to take a picture. Oh, we should check the museum while we're up there to see like... Squirrel. Oh shit, that's the wrong picture. Squirrel. How do we take picture? R1, look at me, squirrel. Here, I want a picture of you. Squirrel! <laughs> Save. Cool. Now, do we just, like, delete the pictures after we donate them? I don't know how that works either. Okay, that was a fair few odds, actually. I wonder if the wild grass, like, spreads itself? Do trees regrow on their own? The, these resources have to be renewable in some way, I imagine, but I don't know how any of that works. Ingot maker! Uh, craft one. 
After crafting a maker, it can be placed anywhere on your farm or insert an item into the maker, wait for the processing time to elapse, and boom! The freshly processed items are yours to use. Cool. Lumber maker, so we need 20 logs for the lumber maker. Uh, can we put this stuff up here n near the tent area? No. So we need to, like, pick an area specifically for this crap. Well, if I keep our crops kind of in this area, then we could leave a small gap. Maybe, like... I don't know, just a one gap. I was thinking of, like, fences and things for the future, but... I don't know. Material used. Probably just... Since it's an ingot maker, I'm assuming the only thing it'll take is... Iron ore? Or just ore in general? But does it need a specific amount? It needs five. Five iron ore to make one iron ingot. Well, I wanted to do more like tree chopping and try to get the, the lumber thingy today, but... But I guess instead we'll focus on trying to get enough iron ore to do the thingy. You're fine. You're not going to pass out, hush. Are there any more good stones? I can't see what kind of stone you are. You are not a good stone. Okay, well, let's go into the mine then. It is right here conveniently next to our property. How do you know which ones are going to drop iron? Is it just like the big ones? Or maybe it's just completely random in the mine, actually. Like it just comes down to luck? I still don't know what those little gerbil looking thingies that are popping up on the side. I have no idea what that's about. Are there like levels to the mine? Oh, I remember this being a thing that it mentioned. Um, okay, tool bag. We need the hoe, I think, for these things on the ground. Dig. Hey! Okay, cool. We got an iron ore and a stone. Oh, there's a stone that would have dropped iron ore. But we probably can't hit it five times because we're, like, out of stamina. But that's fine. We'll go to, like, sleep for tonight or whatever. Maybe we'll do a round of fishing because we do have a little bit of stamina left. But regardless, we can do this now. Crap. And then maybe ship our first iron ore. We can't cook yet, so there's no reason to keep any ingredients or anything. Unless we want to, like, give it to somebody. I don't know how much stamina it actually uses using this thing. It might be based on how much we reel in. Casting didn't seem to cost anything at least. There's no way it's just free. Oh, we got a crab. Oh, okay, yeah, so when we catch something, that's when we that's when we pay for it. Good to know. Okay, <laughs> so we want to stop doing, like, anything. What the hell? Mango Habanero Doritos are fucking <laughs> I was so confused. That just came out of nowhere. I just look over and saw random words. Mango Habanero Doritos. And I, for some reason, it didn't click to me that Mango Habanero was even, like, a flavor. <laughs> they just look like random ass words, man. I was so confused. But, uh, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel about, like, mango... chips? Uh, you know? That doesn't really sound like something I would want to begin with. We could go to bed, but it's only 7.45. Is there, like, a nightlife here at all? Is there anywhere where people gather at night? 
like a local bar or something? Did they gather at the grocery store? The bistro's open late. Is there anybody like having a late night snack here? Mango habanero hot sauce that's really good. Doritos has too much mango going on. I don't think I've ever tried a mango habanero hot sauce or just a mango hot sauce in general. I almost bought, um, what was it? Like this ghost pepper hot sauce the other day, but I was like, it's probably not gonna be good. <laughs> I, for I forget why, but I read it. Oh, because it was made with lime and I'm just not a big fan of lime. So I was like, mm, I just ended up passing. I didn't end up buying it. There was another one too. There was ghost pepper and, and another type of pepper, but they were both made with lime, so I didn't buy either one. Weather report, it's gonna be sunny. Sunny. I didn't see what the fifth day was, but whatever. So on the fifth, it is Angela's birthday. So we should probably try to give her something for her birthday. I don't know what she's into though. <laughs> so she might end up hating whatever we give her. I don't know. All the money, dude. Eggs are worth 99 gold. A one star egg. I mean, we got 2,000 gold. Gold seems relatively easy to come by in this game. I'm just saying. Maybe we should have bought some of the more expensive stuff right off the bat. Good morning. I hope tent life is treating you well. It seems like... It seems to me like you're getting used to it. In fact... Still, I know a tent is neither luxurious nor convenient, which is why I wanted to teach you about home expansion. Your home or tent can be expanded into a log cabin with enough materials and money. Remember Nigel, the fellow from yesterday? As I mentioned, he's our local carpenter. If you head on over to his workshop and commission him, he'll be more than happy to upgrade your house into something special. House expansion is at Nigel's handiworks, okay? Uh, take a bath, cook your own meals, have pets. Uh, I'm done teaching you stuff. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. I wonder... We'll stop over there today, because I am curious. Oh, our uh, stamina fully regen today, too. So, it does seem to be related... At least our stamina regen does seem to be related to how early we go to bed. So, that's good to know. I keep trying to move with the D-pad... I understand why you can't, because that's how, like, you navigate the hotbar, but I kind of wish you could. It really bugs me that you can't. Can I take a picture of these wild birds here? Oh, shoot, we forgot to donate that, too, yesterday. Ooh. Sparrow, can I get the one in the middle? I guess it doesn't matter. Take picture. Save. Uh, take iron ingot. Um, I guess we'll ship one, just because we haven't shipped one before. Also saw when we were taking that picture, there was a fern around here somewhere. Harvest. My fern. God, okay, we really do need to clear out the farm a bit. Where's, where's the dude? There's the dude. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about that. Can we take a picture of the chicken? No, we can't even focus on the chicken, apparently. No, okay. Doesn't seem like it. That's fair. That's fine. Pick that up. Take our egg. And then finish watering. We put like another well in here, I wonder. I guess we'd have to buy it first, huh? It does seem like trees constantly regrow and just just things in general. In some games, or at least in like Stardew Valley, weeds and things spread more if you leave the ones that currently exist. I don't know if that's a thing here or if it's just like random every day, just more things pop up. Item can't be split. I, I'm not trying to split, honestly. I'm just trying to move. Water this. Good job. 
Bro, why can I not... Why will you not water? There we go. Let's get... Our tool tools out. We're gonna do some... Some stuff today. Around the farm here. I really hope you can't, like, accidentally cut down your plants. Because if you can... It's definitely gonna happen. Okay, so we need to stop at Nigel's today. Because I want to see what we need for the house upgrade. We need to... Clear our farm. And stop at the museum to unload some of the stuff that we've gathered. I'd also love to get 10 wood today. So we can make the lumber machine. Those are, like, all of our goals. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all of that, but maybe. We get, what, like, four or five logs per tree? Looks like five? It might be a little bit random, I'm not sure. We have plenty of money, though. We can probably, like, buy some food for more stamina. And then hopefully once we, like, do upgrade our house, cooking food will be a way to get more stuff, more, more stamina. For less money overall. Although, with how much some stuff sells for, it might, <laughs> it feels almost like it would be better to just sell the stuff we make and then buy food because food doesn't seem that expensive whenever like one fish we can sell for 500 gold unless maybe we just got really lucky and those fish are actually super rare craft the lumber maker Logs into lumber. and some logs. Wait a bit and voila. Up to 20 can be set at a time. Okay, I just want to put it, like, right next to the other one, I guess. Mm, no, you know what? I'm going to put it in front of this one. Just right there. Make three things of lumber for me. Cool. Was there any flowers or anything we missed? So you never know what's going to be on the community board for the day. No. Oh, you can pay him materials or money. So we can use 15 lumber or $5,000 to get that thingy fixed. I almost feel like we should use money, honestly. Because so far, at least, money's just been so easy to come by. Okay, I don't imagine people are going to like ferns as gifts. Or wild berries. They might like our fresh produce, though. In form of the egg. So, Nigel's workshop. Ooh. I mean, I know she, like, works with animals. So maybe, like, an egg would be nothing to her? I don't know. But give her an egg. Thank you. You picked that out just for me, didn't you? Yes, I did. Egg. I like egg. Maybe she'll like egg too. Honestly, I like her design a lot more than I like Blair's, but I don't know. Blair makes food? She serves food. I guess I don't actually know if she makes any food. <gasps> He's closed today? The bastard. Why would he tell us like, hey, upgrade your home at Nigel's on the day that Nigel's closed? That's kind of rude, honestly. Hey. So we need iron ore and lumber to upgrade our stuff, except for the watering can. The watering can just needs iron ore. Hey. What do we need to upgrade our bag? Just gold. Which honestly is something we're probably going to do super soon. We might... Okay, let's buy some food, because I want more stamina. Sorry, my mind's, like, all over the place. Um... 
they're not open yet. That's annoying. It's fine. We'll do a tiny bit of fishing. I was gonna say we might like clear our farm more first and then worry about the other stuff, but I don't know, man. I'm so indecisive on these things. Who gave me the power to choose things? I don't I don't like fish. Wait, what? It says fish! Ah, there we go. Oh shit, <laughs> red bad. Don't do red. I wonder like if as our fishing rod gets better if we can just start like reeling things in regardless of what color it is. It'd be nice for like the basic fish if we could just just do it without having to worry about it. Ooh, this is a two, two, two exclamation mark. I'm guessing it's gonna be another shiny boy? I don't know what the variety- Oh, we're supposed to be donating fish to the museum too! Holy shit, dude, I forgot. Is there any way to know which ones you've donated yet and not? Sparkling fish, okay. Held quality. I mean, maybe it'll update that thing there? I don't know, man. Let's buy some food. Let's buy an entree. We've done vegetable sandwich. Let's try a pizza. It's much more expensive. Maybe it'll uh, give us m a lot more stamina. Is that a pineapple pizza? Kind of gross. Okay, we're instantly on the like symbol that I have to assume means full. What happens if we sit? Do we regain stamina by sitting? Does anything happen if we sit? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Museum, I have fish for you! Uh, they were supposed to be like my money makers, but... Hello. Donate fish. Uh, sure, it's a two-star crab, but whatever. Donate it. Do we pick a tank, or does it just put it in one? I guess it doesn't matter. Just place here. Wait, was it an actual tank, or did we just, like... Did we just Hello? murder that crab? Is the fish still alive? That doesn't- okay, no, they are tanks. They're just- <laughs> they're just very plain, very lame-looking tanks. So they're not gonna live a very good life, but... <laughs> oh. And we can donate more pictures now, too. Squirrel. I don't really care about the order, to be honest. Just put, just put. Hello. And then we have one more. We have the sparrow. There we go. All the donations for you. Guess we should talk to you too, just to like build up friendship. Since we saw you. Oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. This is not a way out. Did I do this last time, too? I think I did. Is this where that, like, Renee girl lives? Or whatever her name was? It seems like her kind of aesthetic. The, the archaeology enthusiast. How long are we going to be, like, full, full, full? What happens if we keep eating? Oh, we should check the board, but I don't have, like, anything to give. Because I donated or sold everything I had. Sardine. Okay, if we get a sardine, we should bring it here. That's a big if, though. Hello, person. Lori, that's right. 
I'm gonna forget your name again, but don't take it personally. Damon? Yeah. Damon. You normally get sleepy? I forget what I said. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> These games make me sleepy, like in a good way though. I'll say that. Squirrel. Okay, we're gonna ship one lumber just because like, I don't know, I feel like we should ship everything. Hopefully once we upgrade our house, we'll get like permanent storage, like chests or something. And I do think we're gonna focus on clearing our land first. Although it seems like at the rate these trees are coming in here, I mean, we can probably just like smash them, right? Do we get anything for smashing them? No, they just go away. I mean, money, money does seem easier to come by, but I don't even know for sure if we, we probably have to have some stuff, like how we have to have some stuff to upgrade our tools. I imagine it's probably going to be a mix of money and materials, right? For upgrading our, our home. But I feel like we should try to upgrade our home before we expand our crop selection too much. Because having a decent way of getting a stamina refill seems legit. I actually saw that gerbil thing pop out this time, but it just ran away. <laughs> like, it didn't seem to do anything. It just appeared and then freaking zooted out of here, man. You're fine. You're not gonna pass out. I won't let you pass out, probably. I might. I've done it before, but... We have enough to do one more? I think we have enough to do one more. We did pet you today. Ooh, another fern? Or oregano, I guess? Whatever. Did we pet you today? Ah, oh, whatever. You've been pet now. Insert. All the logs. Craft. Get to work. And then, I guess, go eat more food? And then go fishing? We can probably make enough money to make up for whatever we pay for food. Hello. Assuming the food actually gives us, like, a refill of some sort. And not just makes our stuff gold. I don't I don't know what it means whenever the hearts turn gold. Okay, that gave us an extra heart. Does it have something to do with the flavor? How do we know what this stuff's gonna do? This is spicy and warm. <laughs> I really wish the, like, descriptions were a little bit better, man, on what this shit does. Okay, that refilled some. Now what happens if we keep eating? Oh, it won't let us. Interesting. Or at least it won't let us buy anything. Um, let's get pudding. It's a lot cheaper. So here, we've had, like, a full meal. We can buy more dessert. Can you only buy dessert whenever you're full? Like it won't let you buy any uh, actual food food when you're very full? Is that, oh, you just teleported. Weird, but okay. Does it change? Oh, I forgot there's the boat outside our house. I forgot I was gonna check there and see if we could go to the DLC area that way. I'll try to remember to do that tomorrow, maybe. A 
That's a crab. We have donated a crab before, so does it show that here? No. <laughs> That's super annoying. That's a major, like, quality of life thing that should be implemented. Although, I don't think they're doing any updates to this game at this point, so I wouldn't expect them to do anything like that, but oh boy would it be handy. Big, big, big fisher. That's me. I'm big, big, big fisher. Bro, now we can get nothing but crabs. Give me, give me anything that's not a crab, please. Like, what was it, a sardine that we needed for the quest? Bruh, seriously? <laughs> what is up with these crabs? Too many crabs up in here. Ooh, okay, this is probably a sparkling fish, which... Have we donated one yet? I can't remember what we donated. I know we donated two fishes. One was a crab. I think the other one was just like a basic fish of some sort. We just level up again. Fishing consumes less energy. That's nice. I would love to get like some fish bait, but you have to buy a base for it. You can't just craft it from like stuff that you find, which is a little annoying. Where are you? It's like a broken piece of plastic. Probably from a DVD case. Anyways, uh, so yeah. But I wonder, like, if having bait gives you different fish you can catch? It, it mentions making it easier to catch fish, but I wonder if it also changes what fish you can get. Both would make sense, but I have no idea how it works. Velvet Shrimp, you're new. Okay, so we know for sure the shrimp's new. I want to, like, organize this in some way. You might be new, so we need to keep you. All the crabs can be sold, though. I guess we can put this stuff away for now while we're fishing. It's annoying how many quality levels there are of things, because that means, like, less things will stack. I feel almost like we should try to go to bed before 10, too, for, for max, like, stamina regen. So I was considering buying more food so we could fish longer. But then I was like, I don't know if that's actually going to be necessary, man. Okay, another Velvet Shrimp, but a two-star Velvet Shrimp. That's better than the one that we have down in the donate section, so we should be fine. Donating that one. It's another Sparkling Fish. Please do be. Sparkling Fish are, are expensive. Yes, sparkling fish. Would also be nice to catch the one that we need for our quest, but I guess that's just a pipe dream at this point. It is getting late. I wonder, like, can wherever the boat takes us, can we do other fishing there? <laughs> Ride boat. To a special location. Oh. Oh. Does this take time? Or is it an instant, like, teleport there and back? Okay, there's all kinds of new people. There is a lake, so I'm assuming that's somewhere we can fish at. Aloha, this is Twilight Isle. We only just moved here, but you're welcome to take a look around. What time is it? 
833. Okay, yeah, so it's like instant. Timeless area marked by the ruins of an old castle. Its residents are more than eager to make new discoveries and meet new people. Try speaking with them. You might make some new friends. I guess that'll also tell us... Do they show up in, like, the people list? Howdy. Lisette. Oh, howdy there. Are you from Olive Town? I see you're a farmer and your name is Stream. It's so nice to meet you. My name is Lisette. I came here very recently, so I'm still getting used to everything, but it would be nice if we could be friends. I mean, you're a bla blatcher <laughs> bachelorette. Holy crap, dude. So... I'm assuming you're gonna pop up on the list. Yeah. So that's why there's so many, like villagers for us to meet man it does count all the dlc characters moria uh da, da, da. okay you live here that's all we need to know about you i'm assuming you're Lisa. that's dead all the characters such cute chibis because like why wouldn't they be cute chibis you know like <laughs> that's why oh can we pick these flowers no now i did remember or do remember seeing like that the DLC is kind of pointless. It just adds more characters to the game, and that's pretty much it for you. But the new areas are kind of bland. Like, there's nothing to really do. They're just they're a hub to hold the people kind of thing. Which, like, not a big deal to me, but... Interestingly, there's like nobody else here. Oh wait, is this a new house? I thought this was the house we were just in, but I guess not. Hello. Excuse me, but who are you? You're Stream the Farmer. Ple pleasure to meet you. Uh, we're only here for a short time. For some reason, I doubt that. Aloha. Ludus, we meet again. Are you from this area? You're a farmer, huh? I'm Ludus, nice to meet you. Traveling around to broaden my horizons. If you have time to teach me more about the area, it'd be much appreciated. So is that everybody here? Straight up said Aloha too. He did. He did indeed. I guess that's everybody here. Oh! Picture. Ow. Sorry to scare you out, but I need to, uh, I need to, I don't know, make sure there's nothing else here. How do we, like, delete pictures? Because our thingy's almost full. Okay, we'll have to, like, go to the other two places. Windswept Falls and Terracotta Oasis soon. But it's 1019 in game, so we kind of need to be going to bed. And shipping our shipping our stuff. So, sell crab, crab, velvet shrimp, a sparkling fish. And I guess that's it, because these two things we're going to donate. Well, maybe the sparkling fish. I don't know. I can't remember if we have yet or not. So tomorrow, we need to go to the museum and donate our stuff, of course. But we also need to remember to go to Nigel's and see what we need to upgrade our house. Because that's like, that's my main goal right now. House upgrade and backpack. Also, I just realized that other than the sparkling fish, nothing was really worth it that we caught fishing-wise. So probably not worth buying an entire meal just for fishing. Well, should just need the watering can, actually. I really want to clear away more of these trees, though. They bugging the crap out of me being where they are. In front of, like, the chicken coop and stuff. Ooh, fern. G give fern, please. Thank you. I'm actually really happy that you can just walk through all your crops. It's always bugged me in like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon games and stuff like that, that you can't walk around trellises. I use a mod to make it possible to do it in Stardew Valley, but like, why is that a thing, man? <laughs> it's been a thing in a lot of previous Harvest Moon games too. It's not unique to Stardew Valley or anything, it's just meh. 
let me walk through things. It's fine. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what kind of Harvest Moon game this is. Like, is it a relationship-focused one? Is it a farming-focused one? Animal-focused? I mean, the farming mechanics work well enough. It's not like a Wonderful Life original where I absolutely despise the farming. <laughs> like, it actively discourages me from, from farming, at least, so there's that. Damn, this grass really, like, sprouts up, though, man. Legend Reaper, we're a Reaper. So I wonder, like, if we put down paths, would that stop things from growing? But do we want that? Is there anything that we can't get other places? Because, like, trees probably regrow in the forest up top, so we probably don't really need to worry about that. Is that a chest? Oh, <gasps> it is! To 10 can be set at a time. I wonder how many things we can store in here. I don't know, but craft that. For God's sakes, craft that. The box can be set anywhere on your farm. Open them with X to store and remove items. Okay. Oh, wait, are they all linked? Because it says the more you have, the more space you'll have. That'd be pretty cool. Can we put these up here? Annoyingly, no. I don't want to block my path. Can I put it... Hmm... I really don't like the layout that we've got here, but whatever. Just put it here. Okay, so we can put actually a lot of stuff in here. I struggle. Like, the first time I played Stardew Valley, man, I kept, like, five or something of every single item that I collected. And, like, I'm tempted now to just, like, throw an egg in there, throw a fern in there, etc. Because you never know what people are going to want, you know? Oh, does it let me do stuff from... No, okay. I thought, I thought it was going to take the logs from the inventory. No, it's just... There's just already things in there. Um, I need to finish watering these things. And then these trees specifically are going to bug me. Mm -hmm, that rock too, but... I didn't think to pull out the thingy. Now we have the hard choice of do we give our egg to someone or do we sell it? How much money are we at currently? 2500. I think I think we'll give it to someone. Stop up at Nigel's now before I forget. Nigel's and the museum. Oh, hi, Mayor. Hello, stream. Getting the hang of things here in Olive Town. I realize we may not have as many conveniences compared to the big city, but we get by here well enough. We all worked together to build this place into what it is today, and we're proud of that. We have our troubles, of course, but... But what? Hmm, Jacopo, what on earth are you doing here? Not skipping work on the ferry, are we? Nah, Dad, it's cool. We don't have many tourists heading in today, so I took care of cleaning duty in no time flat. So why are you back early? Yeah, pretty much. I figured I'd run and take a shower before Captain Gor Gorg? George gives me my next assignment. <laughs> the fuck? Sorry, I just looked at the memes on Discord. Uh, anyways, and that, you see, is one of our troubles. We lack tourism. I'm not saying that all of town has to be a top resort spot by any means, but I'd like to be a tiny oasis that tourists can enjoy. And that's where you come in. You're raised in the big city, weren't you? Can I get your opinion on something? What do you suppose we should do to grab the attention of the city folk? Um, Offer a break from the hustle and bustle. Honestly, we don't need the latest tech. 
advertising on TVs or whatever, man. Let's just be a quiet oasis. Tommy break from city life might be just what they need. We certain we can certainly do that for them. I was anything to myself. Folks from the big city are always rushing around. They need a good break every now and then. They could take some time to relax in all the time. Perhaps they could find themselves again. Remember life's simplest pleasures. Speaking of life's simple simple pleasures, that shower felt great. Maybe I'll sneak in a cafe trip and take the rest of the day off. Oh, for the <laughs> yeah. I feel it, dude. That's a quick shower he took, though, man. So this is Nigel's, right? Yeah, and he is open. Okay, Nigel. Hello. Well, first we'll say hello. Do you have anybody else here we can say hello to, or are you just all by your lonesome? Can we steal your kitchen? Uh, a cook? Oh, that costs 3000 Farm facilities? Oh, God. Okay. The game's a little bugged on the PlayStation 5, it seems. I don't know if that's just a PlayStation 5 problem, or if that's a problem in, like, general with the game on console. I don't know, but, like, oof. Um... Big coop. It needs things. Flashing warning. Sorry. Don't be strange now if there's carpentry to be done. Okay, expand house. 2,000. Oh, and just 20 logs. That's it. We can do that now, actually, I think. Hold on. We have the 2,000 gold. Do we have just 20 regular logs at the house? If not, we can get the 2,000 real quick. You inspired a couple of teenage girls to watch Twilight tonight? Why? <laughs> Sorry. Not the biggest Twilight fan, obviously. Um, but okay. How many logs do we have? I probably should have checked that first. Oh, bro, yeah, we only need one more. Let's go. Uh, split stack. Four. Let's go get our freaking log cabin, dude. This, that's exciting, actually. Now, did she actually like our gift, the, the animal girl? Like, did it grow her love for us? Blair doesn't seem to care for our gifts that we gave her. Bridget has more than Blair does, though. But then again, so does like Emilio and Damon. So maybe it has more to do with how much we talk to them. Isn't it today's somebody's birthday? Angela. Where the hell is Angela? Okay, she's in the. Was it here? Aha! You! Do I have anything to give? Just my egg that I was gonna give to what's her name, but whatever, you can have it. Happy birthday. <laughs> give me this for my birthday? Thank you. You're welcome. Just one more push and I made it through this day. Um, does that mean I get a discount on seats? Beans? I would like to buy all your beans, please. No, she gives us nothing. Uh, back to Nigel, so that's, that's what I was doing. It was fine. I get sidetracked easily. Alright, Nigel. Expand house. What kind of furniture do you sell? Like, normal stuff. Okay. How is it cheaper- Oh my god, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click that. How is it cheaper to... Like, build an entire log cabin than it is to get, like, a chair made? Comes with a kitchen, fridge, wardrobe, bath, and space for decorating. Large enough for one pet. Sick. Expand. Is it instant, or do we have to wait? Wait, did he really build that log cabin instantly? Good for you, Nigel. Look at you go, man. Hell yeah. How about it? Nice and cozy, like a home should be, right? We built a kitchen for you. You should try and cook something up with all those ingredients you pick up on the farm. Sit in front of a kitchen to get cooking. With the right ingredients in hand, you can whip up whatever meals you like. With a house this space, I'd say you got enough room to keep a pet. If you're interested in pets, just head on down to the animal shop. I'm sure Bridget can help you find one. Dogs, cats, and other animals. Okay. We should do that, actually. What kind of pet do we want? Uh, furnishings can be placed on walls, on the floor, on countertops. Some can be crafted. Ooh, bass resource stamina. For half an hour. Okay. Fridge allows you to store cooked dishes and ingredients. 
So does that mean we can put like fish in here? And yeah. Does it have infinite storage or no? Can we add more fridges for even more storage space? So does that just mean any vegetable? That's clam. We can grill a fish. Or fry an egg. Can we sell cooked dishes? That was a good way to make money in some of the other Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games. And then tea is just tea, obviously. Oh, okay, I see. That's how we see what we need. So, like, this then. Is it just all vegetable group items can be used? Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Let's look into getting a pet, though. Stop by the pet shop. And then maybe we'll take a afternoon bath. Oh, are we getting our first cutscene? Welcome, welcome. I see somebody's got a little extra pep in their step today. Are we gonna get a free pet? You've expanded your house. Why, that's wonderful news. More space means more room for you to use. All that reminds me, since you've gone to all the trouble to upgrade your house, why not get yourself a pet to share it with? Give this to you at no extra cost. Consider it a present to me, or from me. Leash will let you go on walks with your pets. Oh, that's cute. Have so much fun if you go on walks with them. They get a kick out of it too. So how about a life with a cute little buddy by your side? If you're interested, just let Bridget know and she'll get you started. <clears throat> okay. I'd also like to talk to Bridget, if you don't mind. Eating cake at the cafe is one of my go-to pleasures. Uh, you've said that before. So their dialogue's not particularly interesting, but... Okay, they're expensive. They cost as much as an entire house. Good to know. I think I know what we have to buy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, saw pictures of Jacob and Renesme you have hanging up in the store and guess one of the girls looked at her friend and was like, can we watch Twilight? Oh my god. Nice. Kinda want the Sheba, I'm not gonna lie. But I think I know what we have to buy. But right now we have no money and it's 2,000 gold, so... What else were we supposed to do today? Go to the... Oh, shoot. What's it called? I'm stupid. The museum. And explore the other... The other towns. The other islands. Whatever. My name is Jesse. I was good friends with your grandfather. Oh. Oh. Wait, if you're here, does that mean the museum's closed or do you not open until later? Museum must be closed on Thursdays, based on all the people walking around. Closed on Thursdays, son of a bitch. Guess we're keeping a hold of these fish for an extra day. Let's go explore those other two towns. Islands, towns, whatever the hell you want to call them. See if we can't say hello to more people. My boat. Ride boat. Uh, windswept falls. We'll just go down the list. Now, I think these are meant to be characters from, like, other Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games. I don't know if literally all of them are, or just, like, <laughs> all of them. Uh, <laughs> or just some of them. I don't know. Well, I'll be a visitor. <laughs> it's quite a treat to see new faces around these parts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This here's Windswept Falls. It ain't much, but feel free to take a load off. Will do, old timer. Thanks. Uh, breezy, tranquil locale. If re its residents are laid back, free folks who take life a day at a time. Try speaking with them. You might make some new friends. Hello, little dude. Hi there. I'm Hina. It's nice to meet you. You're streaming from all the town? Okie doke. <laughs> I'll do my best to remember that. You should come play with me sometime. Promise? You're sorry. Dunhill. Well, well, we meet again. Name's Dunhill. I'm what you might call a drifter. You're a farmer, eh? I used to do a bit of farm work myself when I was younger. Dusty must have brought us together. I'm sure you and I will be fast friends, stream. What's your house? Is there anybody in your house? 
This is not the music I expected from Dunhill, the western dude's house, not gonna lie. It's very Asian inspired for this cowboy looking bro. You have to be a dude, yeah. A uh, uh, bachelorette. Felicia. Fel yeah. Um, this is the first time we met, isn't it? My name is Felicia. Oh, so you're from Olive Town. What kind of food would you recommend trying over there? I love anything and everything delicious. Do let me know if you have any recommendations. I mean, <laughs> I almost feel like it'd be easier to, to be with one of the people from one of these, like island town things because like they should be super easy to find and they're right outside our house so like we can just teleport here anytime we want basically but i don't know my name's neil don't feel like you have to remember it though okay oh neil's a farmer himself look at the chickens okay so if like they have their own house and we marry them can we like steal their chickens and just their house and stuff? How does that work? Is this an actual thing or no? Can we chop down their trees here? No? Okay. I wonder if things will ever grow here. Can we fish here at least? Oh gods, what happened? Those poor kids. I'm so confused. Oh. <laughs> Talking about noodle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Noodle has basically ruined their life today, you know? A dace. Now, is that a new fish because of where we are? Or is that a new fish just because we got lucky? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So is that everything here? No other new townsfolk or anything? No. Okay. Well, there's still one more town for us to visit. Uh, special location. Terracotta Oasis. Ooh. This place looks fancy. I don't... I don't like the lady walking up to us. Don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, what it is, but mm, I'm not a fan. Terracotta Oasis, a region with a little oasis surrounded by towering rocky cliffs. Its residents are dedicated to folk in pursuit of knowledge. Try speaking with them, you might make some new friends. Okay. Giorgio, do you need something for me? You're streaming, you're a farmer. I see, you must be a fan of mine then. You don't know me, Giorgio? <laughs> the most charismatic farmer in the business? Hmm, I suppose I still have a way to go. I don't like you. Oh my, we meet again. Well, well, you're stream, right? Yes, you're certainly the picture of a strapping young farmer. Marvelous. I'm Marion. I make my living as a doctor. It's only nice to meet you, honey. Not a fan of you either, Marion. Gotta say, the people in this town aren't, um, aren't my favorite. Do these stalls, like, actually open up for business at some point? Oh, well, you look okay. Rager. I don't think we've had the pleasure. Did you come from another town? So your name's Stream. I'm Rager. I recently came here myself. It's nice to meet you. Have we met everybody yet? Or are there still people we need to meet? Oh my god. There's still people. Two, three, four, five. Five more people still. I have no idea where they would be. Well, there's another house. Hello. Oh, you're a bachelorette. Okay, my, you're a charming one. Your name's Stream and you're a farmer. I see, I'm Iris. I work as a hee hee. Well, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are something unexpected might happen today? What? You never know. What do you... What do you do for a living? that you can't tell us. Are you a writer? She's writing in the book. Maybe she's a writer. Maybe my mind just went to the gutter for no reason. It could be completely innocent. Also, it seems like we can't chop down trees on any of these islands, which is lame. 
So they're probably literally just here for like meeting new people. Another squirrel. Are there any other houses that we've missed? Here's one. I didn't see whose house this was. This might be somebody we've met already. Rager, yes it is, okay. Fish. Maybe we'll get another new fish. It is a new area. I'm tempted to try to marry the guess what I do for a living hee hee girl. Like, I'm <laughs> super curious, man. Got another dace. Did we already put one down there? We did. That seems to be everything in this town. So we're still missing like four people. Where, where's the girl we just met? I don't know how this is like sorted. Was it you, Iris? The young lady who lives at Terracotta Oasis. She used to live in Oak Tree Town. West Town to Twilight Isle. Must be a farmer. Lulu Coco Village? Okay, I don't know. I was hoping that it might say something about, like, what her job was or whatever, what she, what she does for a living. I'm super freaking curious now. You're all cool. Aloha. Yeah, aloha to you. Is there anybody else? Like, I don't know if they appear on the map before we meet them or anything. But like, who haven't we met yet? It's not like Stardew Valley where we have a quest to meet new people. I guess it's not that big of a deal. But I don't know. I just always feel like we need to meet people in these games and be friends with, with the peoples. Uh, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh, clear some of this grass off our farm. Ooh, we can collect clams so we can make some, some soup. Soup is always nice. Also, I just realized what time it was. I guess this will be our last day on the farm. I'm going to clear as much grass as I can first, though. Oh, and I forgot about our afternoon bath. I was going to do that, too. And then maybe we'll just finish the night off fishing. Or we could go mining so we can start trying to upgrade our tools soon. Get some iron ore. We'll probably go fishing. I don't know. Fishing sounds nice. Although, you know, I'm so indecisive. Um, because we... I would really like to fix this bridge, actually, too. So maybe we should actually try... to cut down more trees so we can get more lumber. Maybe that would be a better idea. Now that I think about it, that's probably, like, the better thing to do. So we needed, what, like, 15 or something? Sell the dace. Um, sadly, that's, like, all we have to sell. And my controller's dying. Can you make it to the end of the day, controller, or no? Shellfish soup. Clam. Cook. Oh, does time actually pass when we cook? That's interesting. Oh, so this tells us if we've made things or not, but it doesn't freaking tell us what we've donated. <laughs> How do we eat? There we go. Oh, it only gave us one heart. And then, like, turned it gold. I still don't understand the whole hearts turning gold thing. I, don't, I have no idea what that's about. That also only gave us, like, one heart. So it's not the most, like... 
refreshing thing in the world, bathing or <laughs> eating certain foods. I mean, I can't expect like all food to, you know, give us a ton of stuff, but it's like flashing now. The hearts are, and now it's done flashing, and it's just red. I don't know. I'm just gonna collect as many logs as I can to get as much lumber as I can. That's that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> we'll worry about all the other things later. We'll, we'll learn the mechanics as we go. I'm really hoping, though, I don't want to have to hook up my PS4, but, like, I don't know, man. If some of the menus are going to bug out the way they, they have been, that's going to be an issue. Like, the main menu flashing a little bit on the bottom of the screen, that's not the end of the world, but, like, not even being able to see the farm upgrades, that's kind of a bigger issue. Should we make the Threadmaker... We can probably wait on the thread maker. What is this? Fodder rolls. A few big, easy to spot rolls of the animals much love fodder. Does it have any use though, or is it just for just for show? It seems like it's probably just for show. I'm gonna get rid of this random rock, it's gonna bug me. Insert all the lumber, craft, store, store. We have a bunch of grass. Now, how much lumber did we need? Was it was it 15? It was 15, okay, and we're at like seven plus seven more. We're at 14, bruh. It's fine, we can take another bath. And then I think that'll be enough I don't feel like the clams are even worth it for only one heart. But we can take another bath, and that'll give us a little bit more stamina. And that should be enough to cut down one or two more trees. And then that, I think, will give us enough lumber to repair the bridge whenever, whenever it's done processing. We could skip doing, like, the logs, or the whatever, the stumps. The stumps take, like, as much work as the tree itself does. But with a lot less reward. But oh well. I, I just want to have it, like, cleaned up. Ooh, crap. There we go. So that should be everything we need, plus an extra. I'm just gonna sell the clam. Keep the sap and everything else. Keep the grass, the sap, and the log. There's also no like auto sort button, and that also kind of bugs me, but it's not the end of the world. It, it'll, it'll be okay. How much time is it? 8:41. <laughs> Take another bath and then go fishing for a little bit? No. Well, uh, it's fine. Encyclopedia? What's the encyclopedia? Is it just... just like, everything? Already turn up. So it doesn't really tell us anything, does it? Just gives us the description of stuff. Oh, there's more missing villagers than we than I thought. Maybe some of them don't appear till later or something, so they're not in the list. But I'm assuming everything after this dude. I'm assuming all of these are DLC. So, I thought we were missing four people. So maybe these three people are people that, like, show up later. So in that case, assuming I'm right, then that means, yeah, there's four people here in town somewhere that we've ha met somehow. We can change our clothes now. Or not. Do we have to buy the change of clothes? Because I know I have the DLC for it. 
Oh, you can change the card any time. That's neat. I'm going to decrease more slowly. Whatever. No, we're, we're going to stay on normal. That's fine. Let's just go to bed. I think it's time. Sleep. Call it a night, both in game and IRL. Day sold for like nothing. And yeah, 129 gold. I went from saying like, oh man, money is so easy to come by in this game to being like, oh shit, like. <laughs> Turns out, no, we just got really lucky catching expensive fish. Um, I'm assuming the save will be before this. Um, town's getting livelier by the day. My hope is that we can keep this up. We can develop our town to an even better place to live. Unfortunately, I can't do that alone. That's why I'd like to petition your aid as a citizen to all the town. I don't know. No, it won't help, of course. But, like, I wonder what would happen if we did say I don't know. Oh, Saxon, you've got the same can-do spirit as your grandfather. It's wonderful to have the help of someone so reliable. Once we develop it to town, we can open more shops, all of which I'm sure to, will be to your liking. We might be able to open more shops. I'm still in the planning phases, so nothing's set in stone, but it should be financially feasible. Um, in any case, current plan is to beautify our roads a bit. The more aesthetically pleasing our town is, the more satisfaction tourists will get. A satisfied tourist is bound to visit us again. I post some details about the project on the bulletin board in Olive Hall. Don't forget to give it a read when you've got the time. Okay, so town requests, but there's also, like, requests to help make the town better sort of thing going on. That's fine. We are going to quit. Like, we are done for the day. I just, uh, pretty much any time I play these games, I always like to just take a look outside and see what all we can do the next day. So, like, we can harvest our turnips, just as an example. I'm curious how much turnips are worth. Ooh, we got a moondrop flower again, finally. Interesting. Okay. A couple moondrop flowers now. It's too bad we don't have enough lumber. So I, I would just see... If it's instant, I would just see what's on the other side of the stupid bridge. So I want to know what's over there. It's bugging the hell out of me. But no. No, 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 no. We're going to call it there. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out while we played a little bit more Pioneer of All the Town. If you missed the stream or Discord or whatever a couple of days ago, we're going to be playing a mix of this and um, Dark Cloud for a little while. We'll just like cozy games in general and Dark Cloud slash whatever game we're trying to finish. And then, of course, Baldur's Gate with my brother. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the random games, even though I have a shit ton of them still <laughs> that I need to get through. Uh, my box is full, and I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, like 20 of them just sitting on top of my PS5. Um, so, like, <laughs> it's probably a bad idea, but cozy games have just been a thing that I've been wanting to play. And I've been watching people play them on YouTube and stuff, and it's just making me want to play it even more. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I appreciate you all. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you... Sunday night, maybe. <laughs> Bye! At play. Hi, YouTube land. I forgot to record. We were attacked by orb weavers. Uh, we killed them and then got some food. That's all you need to know. Anyways. Bottom left? I don't what have the time left? of day on bottom left. Didn't you say there's the time of day? The, well, it's just that tech ship is bottom left. Time of day is...